All right, in today's um, video, I'm repairing these uh, rear heater lines. I think is one that is broken. It's this one here. And uh, I've tried buying, what you're meant to buy is you're meant to buy silver paint or silver, uh, condensed silver in paint and paint it on. I never found it, you, you see, I'm, I'm not really, this is an old car, but not really too bothered how it looks. I would mask it off if I, if I wanted to. But, um, the one I found that does work is this one here. Light style silver, L100 German, I guess. L-E-I-T-S-I-L-S-I-L-B-E-R. Uh, Chemo Electronics. I bought this online, www.chemo electronic dot d um i just bought this online what to make sure you get the one that looks like this shake it up many ways of doing it and then back is my little complaint is when i bought these sort of things 25 years ago wherever you bought it from always used to work these days quality is just not there whether it's probably because it's made in some cheap ass place like china and even though I'm Chinese, it, it just makes some cheap rubbish these days. And fob them off is a real thing. So shake off the bottle. And the, the, the way I found it really works well is, I might not, you may not be hearing the engine on, but turn the engine on. Have yourself a little tool like this. Now, this is like a windscreen wiper. Dip it in, keep the engine on with the um, heater, rear element heater on. Dip it in and then put it over the element and if it starts to bubble then you know you're on a winner uh, so I, I've you can either you know you could try painting it on like it is now with the engine off but I found it never works that way so it starts, it starts bubbling I'm gonna try and zoom in on that area if I can show you what I mean in a second while I turn the engine off give it a nice shake okay uh, one of the things about having a an estate car like this is people tend to load it up with stuff and they kind of forget perhaps put like a shield around their stuff you know they load up all sorts of things and it scratches these uh these heating elements that's why there's so many busted ones here and it wasn't me by the way they were borrowed a car off me so yeah it's nicely shaken up the heating element is on just dip my dip my thing in there it's going to wipe I'm hoping it's pretty sure it's this one that's felt if I know good That's not the one, because it's, it's already going through it and it'd rather go through that than my like, or it's not working, let's try this one. busted somewhere else which would be a real bummer oh I've turned on the wrong one but I've done the front windscreen so I've tested it using a multimeter setting on low ohmage if you've got continuity switch switch it between them I've tested between the two likely pots, spots where it's broken and there is resistance along there changes so there's no cotton this there's no breaking it at the moment and one way I tested it was to touch it touch it with my fingers while the engine was on and the heating element was on so it's reading 16 ohms between there and there
one above it. And we've got home in dry. So in theory it's working. I should test it out. Not sure why I done if it is um working now. But obviously putting the paint on has a, an effect. Of course I just figured out using a multimeter might be useless because if I even if there's a break here and I touch between here and here, the circuit could be paid by going all the way around in the next one. So there's only one way to fix the brake. Plaster it with this stuff. It should bubble. Could be any it could be a break anywhere in here not here it could be anywhere along this line i'm just focusing on what i think it is there could be a new break somewhere i can't see it problem might be around here it could be around here i can't see it so next step very very closely with this flipped up I should do that I'm gonna flip the lid up and look very good. right okay use this jeweler's kind of magnifying glass I spotted a break just after just after this area here so hopefully I can show you what I mean now I'm trying to get it bubbling up, that's what I mean. I'm trying to get it bubble up. If it works, it's going to start bubbling. Right here, it would. Ah, there you see it. See it start smoking? Just here. There it is, there's it, there it is. Shit, I'm kind of running out of this stuff. It's not very really thick anymore, it's just liquid. Do you see that smoke come out? Oh, just when I kind of run out. It's not so. Right, it's a mess, but I found the break. So this is the easiest way I found to do it. Just need to get a bit of concentrated silver. Need a new pot of this, really. Was it here, wasn't it? Because I'm stuck in this car, I'm in the back and closed it. Well, you, you kind of guessed how I've done it now. What I need to do is, now that I've located it, switch it off, put it on, switch off the heater, put it on, and then um, dab it on, then let it dry, and it should work. All right, like, uh, hit the like, subscribe button. If you're not really subscribed, thank you for watching.